Welcome to another tutorial video from Tolomats. Make sure and subscribe for more. So in this video, we are looking at what's known as rate of flow as part of the volume section of our maths course. We'll be looking at problems which involve liquids, such as water flowing from one object, maybe a cylindrical pipe, into another object. It could be a rectangular shaped object. And we're then looking at the rate of flow. And what the rate of flow is basically examining, it's looking at the quantity of water passing through that object per second. Now, that'll make a bit more sense with a sketch. So let's have a look at that on a picture. What would that look like? So imagine I have this source of water. I'm gonna sketch a rectangular box here. And I'm gonna say water is flowing out of this box and it's coming through a pipe. So imagine there's a pipe coming out of this box like this. Now, I don't know much about the pipe. I don't know its, uh, its length. I don't know its radius, but I know one thing. I know that for this particular question, that water is flowing through this pipe at 10 centimeters per second. So it's flowing through the pipe 10 centimeters every second. So another way of looking at that might be, imagine that this little red bead here now is flowing through the pipe in the water. And what's happening is that this red bead will travel a distance of 10 centimeters every one second. Okay, that's basically what we know. And future questions that we're gonna have a look at now in a few minutes are gonna ask us to basically find the volume of water that's flowing out of that pipe every one second. And in order to do that, we are just going to focus in on this section of the pipe. We don't need to find the volume of the entire pipe. We just need to find the volume of this small section of the pipe, the pipe that is 10 centimeters long, because the quantity of water in that portion of the pipe is the amount of water that will flow out of this object every one second. So you're basically only trying to find the volume of water in that small section. Now we don't know anything about it in this particular example that I've made up. We just know that it's 10 centimeters in length. And it will extend it a little bit more. The water will then flow into another object. So it's gonna flow into maybe a basin of some sort. So it might look something like this. And as it flows in, it's obviously gonna fill the basin. The water level is gonna rise up. That's what's gonna happen here. And basically what you want to find out is how long will it take this cylinder to fill this blue basin? Or in other words, basically what you're trying to find out is you're trying to find out how many of these small cylinders can fit into that large shape. So there's gonna be a little knowledge of division required here. So let's look at our first example. We're gonna do two out, so our first one here. So our first example here reads, water is flowing through a cylindrical pipe of internal diameter three centimeters at a rate of 14 centimeters per second. How long will it take to fill a cylinder of base diameter 14 centimeters and height 45 centimeters? So let's take a look at what this basically means. So water is flowing through a cylindrical pipe. So let's sketch, always sketch. So Draw out your cylindrical pipe here. And water is flowing through your cylindrical pipe that has a diameter of three centimeters. Okay, so that's what we know. And the water then is basically flowing into another cylinder. So my water is flowing out of this cylinder into another cylinder. And the second cylinder has what information? It has a height, so let's sketch it here now. It has a height of 14, 45 centimeters and a diameter of 14 centimeters, which if I half my 14 gives me seven centimeters for my radius. Okay, so that's basically what we're given. Let's focus up back on this uh, original pipe where the water is flowing through. So water flows through this cylindrical pipe of the internal diameter of three centimeters, that's fine, at a rate of 14 centimeters per second. So let's just recap what that means. It's flowing basically every second, that little bead will travel 14 centimeters per second. Okay, so that's what we know. It's traveling through the shape 14 centimeters per second. Now, that's not much use to us. What we want to basically find out is the volume of water. 
coming through this object per second. Because if we can find the volume of water flowing out of this object per second, we, that can then help us to find the volume of this entire cylinder that it's flowing into. So we're going to use our knowledge here of 14 centimeters per second to find the volume per second. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically take this small portion of the entire pipe that I've highlighted in yellow and I'm going to sketch it. So I have this small portion of the cylinder and it is 14 centimeters in length and it has a radius of what? Well, it has a diameter of three centimeters. So that means it has a radius of three divided by two, which is 1.5 centimeters. So that's the radius of this small section. I'm gonna go off and find the volume of that small section. So I'm gonna use my uh, volume formula for my log tables. So volume is equal to pi or squared h. Pi, you can use your button on your calculator, you can use your uh, 22 over 7, or you can use your 3.14. It's up to you. So that's me filling in my formula. When I multiply that out, I'm getting 31.5 pi centimeters cubed. Or if you want to turn it into decimals, you can. It's up to you if you want to go to decimals. So just hit your SD button on your Casio calculator and you get approximately 98.96 centimeters cubed okay so what does that mean that basically means let's come back up to i'm up here now at this little section here the volume per second what that has just found us is that every second 98.96 centimeters cubed of water is flowing out of that object that's what's happening there next thing we need to find is how long then will it take to fill the entire cylinder at the bottom. How long will it take to fill that cylinder given that roughly 99 centimeters cubed is flowing into it per second? So first thing we need to do is basically go off and find the volume of this cylinder. What's the volume of that large cylinder? So formula for a cylinder is once again pi r squared h and the volume is going to give me, I'm using my button once again on my calculator, radius was half to 14 which is 7 and a height of 45 centimeters that's giving me anyway a volume of about 2205 pi 2205 pi centimeters cubed turn it into decimal if you prefer which is 6927.21 centimeters cubed now what we want to do is basically find, using our two pieces of information, the volume of the small cylinder and the volume of the large cylinder. How long will it take to fill that large cylinder? Well, you're basically trying to find out how many of the small cylinders are in the large cylinder. And to do that, we're going to just basically divide them by each other. So I'm dividing at 2205 pi divided by um 31 and a half pi or if you want to go decimals you can which is 6927.21 divided by 98.96 so it's up to you if you're going decimals they're both going to give you the same answer and they're giving me 70 seconds both are giving me 70 seconds which you know if you want to turn into minutes there's 60 seconds in a minute so that's one minute and 10 seconds so it's basically telling us that it takes a minute and 10 seconds to fill this large cylinder from the pipe okay so have a look at it maybe play it again if needs be but we're going to move on now to our second example our last example okay so example two calculate the volume of a cylinder of height seven centimeters and radius two centimeters so there's our first part the next part then says water flows through a cylinder pipe of internal radius two centimeters at a rate of seven centimeters into an empty rectangular tank. Just notice that the first part of seven centimeters in radius two is going to help us with the second part here. Okay, so we're going to need that first part. And it's flowing into an empty tank that is 1.2 meters long, 1.2 meters wide, 30 centimeters high. Again, just be careful with your units of measurement there. Uh, it's given in meters and centimeters. So I'm basically going to turn everything to centimeters in this question. 
The final part of the question then wants us to find out how long in minutes it will take to fill this rectangular tank. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is the first part of the question, I'm going to label it here with part I, and it's to calculate the volume of the cylinder of height seven centimeters. So how does that look? So I have my pipe, and it has a height of seven centimeters, and it has a radius of two centimeters. So no halving here for the diameter, they've given us the radius. Find the volume of that cylinder. Well, the volume of your cylinder, once again, from your log tables is pi or squared h. I'm gonna keep the button pi on my calculator here. So the volume of this cylinder is pi multiplied by radius squared multiplied by height. My radius is two squared and my height is seven, which is giving me 28 pi centimeters cubed. Again, turn it into decimals if you prefer, and 28 pi turned into decimals is 87.96, 87.96 centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's the first part. Next part is basically telling us that water now is flowing through this cylindrical pipe of radius two at a rate of seven centimeters per second. Okay, so think of it this way, this original pipe we don't know its entire length, but we do know, let's just mark off, that it will travel seven centimeters every second. So again, think of that little bead, it's traveling from here to the bottom in seven centimeters. Again, we don't need to know the full length of the entire cylinder, just the portion that relates to one second. Okay, and what's happening to water then? The water is flowing out of my tank so it's coming out of my cylinder and it's falling into an empty rectangular basin. So again, I'm just gonna sketch that now for myself. So it's flowing into this rectangular shape here, which might look something like so. Again, my sketching mightn't be the best there, but we'll assume that that's what it might look like. Okay, so water is flowing into it and it's flowing in, and what it dimensions? The dimensions of it are 1.2 meters long, which is 120 centimeters. So I'm multiplying 1.2 by 100 because there's 100 centimeters in a meter. It's 1.1 meter wide, which is 110 centimeters, and it's 30 centimeters in height. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is find the volume, first of all, of that rectangular box. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna find the volume of that rectangular box. So volume of rectangle box, and you know of a 3D shape, it's length by width by height. That's the formula we're gonna to use to find the volume of that shape. And I'm subbing in a length and width of 120 multiplied by 110 multiplied by 30. And these are all in centimeters. So the volume here of the rectangular box is 120 multiplied by 110 multiplied by 30, and I'm getting 396,000. So 396,000 centimeters cubed. That's the volume of that rectangular box. Now, what we basically want to find out is how long it takes the pipe to fill that box. Well, remember that every second, 87.96 centimeters cubed of water flows out of that pipe. So we basically want to find out how many 87.96s there are in this large figure. So we're basically just using division. So therefore, my final answer is going to be the rectangular box divided by the rate of flow, which is 396,000 divided by 87.96, or you can keep it as 28 pi. I'm gonna keep it with the 28, point pi, 28 pi, because that pi is never ending decimal, so it's gonna be more exact. And when I divide that out, I get 396,000 divided by 28 pi, four, 501.8 seconds. Okay, question wants us to give it in minutes. 
So there are 60 seconds in one minute. So I'm going to divide that by 60 and I'm getting 75 minutes. So divide it by 60 to turn it into minutes. And that's our answer. How long in minutes will it take to fill the tank? 75 minutes. So to recap, you need to find the volume of a cylinder per second. So that portion of the cylinder or the pipe, in other words, then you find the volume of your empty container and you divide your two answers together. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.